Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a UAD plugin called Sound Machine Woodworks. I'm just trying out the demo of it and seeing if it's worth buying. So basically I have a track here that has an acoustic guitar track recorded just with a single mic. And then I also have the DI signal coming out from the acoustic guitar pickup that was also being recorded at the same time as the mic. So at the minute I have a blend in the mix and I want to see if Woodworks is going to be able to improve the sound of the DI signal and then I'll be able to pan it and hopefully achieve a better stereo mix of the guitar. So first of all, I'll let you hear what it sounds like just with a microphone. So that's just with a single microphone. It's an older recording, so it was less than ideal preamps and less than, less than ideal microphone, which is part of the reason why I recorded the DI signal so I could blend it in be a useful technique sometimes if you want to capture some more harmonics of the acoustic. So I'll let you hear what the two sound like together currently. So at the minute the DI signal is just complementing the mic signal. It's not uh, probably actually dial it back just a bit so it's less prominent. Just adding a little bit of harmonics. Additional harmonics. So this is the DI signal on its own. I'm going to put the Woodworks plugin on this and just see what it sounds like. So let's start off with the first one. Um, my first impressions are that there's this quite audible hiss with a lot of noise also some pretty noticeable phase issues So that's it bypass. And that's it processed. I gotta say, it's not that impressive. There are pretty obvious phase issues. The overall sound is quite harsh in the high frequencies and there's a lot of high end noise. This. Let's try the next one. These are just the presets. Again, very, very easy sounding. And that hiss is there as well. It's very strange that they defaulted to having the neck pickup cranked all the way up because it is very hissy and noisy. Wow, 
Okay. It's super fizzy. And again, very noisy. You can hear that noise isn't there in the clean signal, so that's noise that's been introduced by the plugin. seems to be coming from the neck mic position wow again super fizzy it's not a clean signal at all it's not as hissy but it's like way more fizzy Really odd presets, they don't sound good at all. Really fizzy again. I'm going to take the defaults off and have it on manual. It seems that neck position is really just hissy across the board. It's really weird if it's not if it's not really fizzy, it's really hissy, or really hissy and really fizzy, or if it's not either of those, it's really dark. That's probably the best one that I've heard, but it's still not particularly nice. Again, super fizzy and just kind of nasal sounding. what's going on but the, it does seem like the neck and the body mics are out of phase quite badly that one the number five on the dreadnought is the best sounding so far natural sound and, and the least amount of phase issues, least amount of hiss. And then we're back to really hissy. That one's really hissy, really fizzy, and it has a weird ringing, like cum filtering kind of thing going on. And that one's just really fizzy and really, really nasal sounding. I'm actually surprised by this plugin and the, that it 
hasn't been, I don't know, updated or pulled. It's on sale at the minute for like £91, but normal price for this is £229. Like, uh, you would probably hate yourself if you paid that much money for this. Even at the current sale, I can get it with coupons for like 50 quid, and I was considering it. And no, I'm not. I mean, that one and number five. That one's not too bad in the Dreadnought, number five, and then number one in the Jumbo. It's like a slightly brighter version of that one. That one is quite dark. are just really fizzy again. That one does seem to have some comb fil like a ringing comb filtering effect as well. And the high frequencies. some of that muddiness. On acoustic guitars that's usually around between sort of 250 and 300. I'm already taking some of that out with smooth operator. And Soothe 2 is actually smoothing out the high end of a little bit. Right? Hmm. This is it within the context of the mix. Funny thing is, the ringing the, that I was hearing in one of the presets have a sound bowl. The whole song is sort of around the, the keys being set by the sound bowl. And I just wrote the song around the sound bowl. Which is just really strange. That the comb filtering is actually in, in that key. So that's the two, the real mic acoustic plus the DI signal using the sound works together. I'll disable the sound works and you can let me know if you think that it's made a, a meaningful difference. makes 
more chance if I do it within the mix. I'm not really hearing much of a difference. Can in the context of the mix. usable presets are for me anyway the dreadnought five and the jumbo one and maybe one of the, one of these ones as well i think it was not awful but they all sounded really fizzy to me I, I mean i'm really interested like are you guys hearing what i'm hearing it just it confuses me that this is a plugin put out by uad who are a really reputable company and this is not it's not a good plugin if it had the option for you to load in your own impulse responses then then maybe so there are actual presets there which is interesting let's just try a couple of those out just out of interest be really surprised if they're less fizzy could load in your own impulse responses like if they updated this plugin that you could do that and get really good impulse responses loaded into this thing to use it would probably be worth it um but that's unusable And I know the idea of using a, a pickup from an acoustic guitar to record with, you know, you wouldn't do it on its own. But say you had a live performance that you recorded and all you had was the DI acoustic signal. You would want something better than this. You would want something that didn't have the phase issues or the hiss of the, I don't know what that is. The hiss is like pretty prominent. I'd actually thought about buying this to use whenever I happen to be playing live again. If I'm playing an acoustic guitar, finger picking and singing to not make the guitar, I could use this and have my laptop, my UA arrow and a copy of this and then some vocal processing and thought, yeah, it should be good to go. And uh, I'm not convinced at all. Yeah, um, don't really like doing negative reviews, but hey, it is what it is. So. Let me know what you guys think. Cheers. <laughs>